Hey, it's Michael Vosbein, your host for Drummer Nation Live, Wednesday at 1 o'clock. And I was off last week for vacation. But I have a question for you today. Why do you play the drums, man? Why do you play the drums? Uh, I know why I play the drums, and uh, there are a lot of great reasons to play the drums. I want to help you find out what your reasons are. Stick with me. Let's get rolling. This should be fun. It's time for Drummer Nation. Introducing the Star Festival snare drum from Gary Astrich, a handcrafted and precision replica of the rarest and most iconic of drums. Ringo Starr's 1963 Ludwig Jazz Festival. Each instrument is authorized and hand-signed by Ringo Starr and will benefit his charity, the Lotus Foundation. These Regal Tip Session sticks feel great. They kind of put me in the mindset of a thinner and lighter 5A. Go to regaltip.com, order a pair, or go to your nearest music store. Pick up a pair and let us know exactly how you feel about the stick. Hello everyone, my name is David Victor. I'm general manager with the Craviato Drum Company. We wanted to offer a one-ply, solid shell product, but we wanted it to stay true to our mission of offering handmade drums of uncompromised quality built here in the USA. So take a listen to our Center Stage Series drum set. Memphis Drum Shop is the world's premier provider of percussion instruments. Memphis Drum Shop is the world's premier provider of percussion instruments. With six showrooms of gear, MySymbol.com, the Memphis Gong Chamber, and a first-rate repair department, turn to Memphis Drum Shop for all your percussion needs. Oops, a little switching error there, but we got it in. You know, I was reading some marketing books this week, and they say if you want to appeal to your customers with whatever product it is, you need to, hearing voices, you need to appeal to the why. Why should they play your products? Why should they be interested in your products? Why should they buy it? Whatever it is, Coca-Cola, Mercedes-Benz, Drummer Nation. So... It led me into thinking why. First of all, I know why I did the show. Let's start with that. Um, when drummers get together, you know, two or more drummers in a room and fun breaks out pretty soon. That's a paraphrase from my friend Don Bennett. But if you've ever been to PASIC, you'll understand what I'm talking about. There are a lot of great artists that you can see and hear at PASIC, but you can catch them on YouTube, man. You can get anything on YouTube. Uh, there are a lot of drummers you can communicate with through Facebook or personal emails, but they're all there. Many of them, thousands of them are there at PASIC. So what you get from that is a sense of community. And uh, we're going to talk about that some more. But I was uh, really impressed with that every year at PASIC. Then when I had uh, my company, we made a, an art out of picking people up at the airport or their hotel, getting them up to the shop working with some symbols uh, with them. Uh, maybe they needed to find some symbols, uh, get some lunch in them, get them back in time for sound check. But the rides back and forth and the lunches and the hang were always great. And I always thought, man, I wish I had this. I wish I had this on tape. So that was in the back of my head. Years ago when I was working a steady in Atlanta, um, a lot of us were working and we'd get together after the gig. You know, there was a place called the Bucket Shop and we'd do a hang at the bucket uh, for drummers, which we later call the summit. It'd be a summit tonight, and that could be four, five, six, seven drummers hanging out. And, um, you know, we never really talked about drums much. We talked about everything. And if you're on a bandstand with your uh, playing partners, you're going to find the same thing is true. And, and so I wanted to try to capture some of that for this show. Um, I think if what you really learn from hanging out with drummers is how to be a drummer. Now, no matter what kind of drummer you want to be, weekend person, a hobbyist, a full-blown pro, a recording person, a touring person, a teaching person, whatever you want to be, there's a mindset, a, a perspective, a demeanor that goes with the craft of anything. You know, I, I'm not a lawyer, but if I sat down for lunch with a table of five or six lawyers, pretended to be a lawyer and somebody said at the end, hey, uh, which one of these guys wasn't a lawyer? I think they know it was me because I don't present myself as a lawyer. I don't carry myself as a lawyer. 
Um, I, I'm thinking of, uh, I've known some teachers who said they could tell when a kid takes his horn out of the case how well he probably plays, or she. There's a there's a, a Miles Davis interview with Dick Cavett years ago. Miles is sitting at the chair with his horn, and Dick's got a horn. And he's trying to show Dick Cavett how to hold the horn. Cavett can't get it. And it wasn't about where your fingers went. Miles was like, you know, it's part of your personality. It's an extension of who you are. It's your horn. And if you don't have that, you don't have it. <laughs> and anybody who does have it can see that. So if you want to, uh, uh, it, it occurred to me that I could help drummers to find their mindset, um, uh, help them with their process of self-discovery for the why. Why do you play drums? Well, several things that led to. One was, well, I've been a professional drummer for 40 years, probably, and I've done all kinds of gigs. So there's, and I've been a teacher. Uh, there's a lot, and I've owned a, a company. And um, there's a lot I can pass along. But then I thought, that's not the real value I can offer. A lot of great drummers out there, better than me, who can pass along information. You know, my friend uh, Jim Catalano, who just retired from Ludwig after decades, said to me once, he said, you know, I'm a pretty good vibes player, but I know Gary Burton. <laughs> and I've always thought that, too. I'm a damn good drummer, but I know all these cats. And maybe that's where I could be of, of value. I know a lot of great world-class drummers through my connections in the industry. I know what it's like to teach little kids or in a university. I know what it's like to play all these different kind of gigs. But moreover, I know guys who have done it their whole lives who can, you know, I don't want to be the teacher. Uh, I, I try to not teach. Uh, sometimes I slip into it. I'm not the uh, career guide. I'm not the industry consultant. Those guys are. So let me bring these men and women to interviews to, to uh, uh, an audience who can appreciate them to help find their why. You know, what, uh, what would you like to do as a drummer? And um, how does it fit into your life? Um, what are your strengths? What do you need to improve? What styles would you like to play? Uh, what is the marketplace now for drummers? What are the opportunities for you? Well, you know, I could go on at length about, I played a lot of big band gigs, but Harold Jones, Butch Miles, Dennis McCrell will talk to me, and they have, and they can lay on some, some stuff on you that goes way beyond what I can. Those three guys all played with the Basie band. Hell, Dennis McCrell was the leader of the band for a while. So instead of me telling you about big band drumming, let's get those guys to talk about it. Makes sense, right? I mean, I've spent a lot of time playing jazz music in combos, but man, I've got, I've had on the show Joe LaBarbera, Marty Morell. Those two guys played with Bill Evans. I mean, come on, man, jazz, jazz combo drumming, that's kind of the pinnacle. Uh, Carl Allen, Matt Wilson. Uh, I could go on and on because a lot of these guys fit in, in, in many categories. I played some funk gigs and spent a lot of time studying it. I have a, a book coming out on contemporary linear drumming. But instead of me telling you about it, why don't I have David Garibaldi talk to us? Which I have. How about Johnny Vidakovich, Mike Clark, Stanton Moore? For classic drummer, I had the opportunity to interview Zigaboo. Zigaboo, man. I mean, who cares what I think when you can hear it from Zigaboo? You know? So we can go through the styles. Country music. I'm not a big country guy. I played some. In L.A. I had a, did a bunch of country. But I've had Jim Riley and Rich Redmond on the show. Those are world-class country guys that tour with some of the biggest acts in the world. And the list goes on. Global. I don't know much about global percussion, but Jamie Haddad does. I can talk to Pete Lockett about um, uh, uh, Carnatic Hindu, you know, Indian Carnatic music. And uh, he's going to offer a lot more than I can. I've been an educator, but I've also had Ed Sofon and John Riley and Dom Famolaro, classical music, Jack Bell, Bill Platt. It goes on. Rock and roll, Todd Zuckerman, huge tour with Six, uh, Ricky Rocket, Poison, Bunny Carlos is in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame from Cheap Trick. 
Billy Ward, Jason Sutter. I mean, I've got almost 100 shows of interviews, and the list goes on. Uh, and there are a lot of people, where are you going to put a category on, on Peter Erskine? What hasn't he done? Country? No, no. He did a he did an album with um, Passionate Kisses. What's her name? I forgot. Um, country Act. Um, education, of course. Big band, combo, funk, fusion. Harvey Mason. We're going to put him in a category. You know, so these people have a lot more to teach than I do. And uh, I, having them as guests, uh these are creative self-actualized individuals in their respective fields as drummers and they may just by listening to them uh be be um i'm sorry i distracted myself i was looking for a comment thing here here it is if you have any comments uh load them in okay um anyway i was looking to um i shouldn't have distracted myself right um I do have a few inputs here. Um, Business-wise, man, I've talked to Remo Belli. This is for Classic Drummer, but the interview is online. Don Lombardi of DW, Ron Danette, Phil Hood, media guy, owned Drum Magazine for many years, Rick Drum, Colin Schofield, Armin Zildjian's right-hand man at, at, at Zildjian for a long, long, long time. And then in the live shows, I like to put it where I have a guest host or somebody bantering around with me and throwing topics out, like uh, making a living as a drummer. I did that one last week. Uh, labor and the music business. Uh, what's the role of a union in that? Um, all kinds of music business type stuff, and I'm going to do a lot more of that. So uh, the point is, who are you? And what do you want to do with drumming? And where do you fit in? And if you sat at a table of pro drummers, would you be the odd man out or a woman? Or would it be pretty apparent from everything you say and do that you're a drummer? Anyway, I call this uh, connecting with the why, a process of self-discovery. Think about that for a second and let's hear from some of our other friends. Drummers seeking a quick and easy way to muffle bass drums on the fly, look no further. Muff Bone offers an effective way to instantly dial in your sound in just a few seconds while seated at the kit. Find out more at muffbone.com. Our latest innovation has opened the door for all drummers to have the same access as top musicians in the world. Custom cymbals. Now available to everyone. Your next sound just got more interesting. Sabian Custom Shop. Hi, this is Stanton Moore. I've been playing and teaching drums for over 30 years. My new site, Stanton Moore Drum Academy, is the perfect online drum learning platform for any level drummer to learn how to play the drums the same way I did. I'm looking forward to seeing a lot of you as subscribers on the site, and I think we're going to have a lot of fun. All right. Uh, a few things we didn't touch upon are maybe you want to do a podcast. Most of them are audio. They're real easy to do, even the video ones. If you want to, man... Use a cell phone. Start with next to nothing. You don't have to have a studio. You don't have to have any of that stuff. Just start. Try to build an audience and see what you can do. Uh, I was able to catch a new show from Rich Redman this week. He's got a, a, a co-host and he had a guest on and the tech part of it is great. It looks great. Rich is so personable and such a great on-air personality. Uh, it's called The Rich Redman Show. I would encourage you to check that out. Uh, so we're all in this game together, you know. Let's help each other out. I mentioned a whole lot of drummers that I've interviewed, and there's a lot I didn't touch upon. But if you have any show topics for me for the live stuff or um, inter full-blown interviews, let me know. Just drop me a note right there. Please go to the website and sign up for our newsletter. It looks like that. And you will have access to a paper I did, a white paper on social media for artists, which... Um, 
We all are involved in to some extent. Uh, I've watched seminars on this stuff all the time. Hey, if you're generous, how about hitting me up on Patreon and pledging me a little nickel a dime, a little something, something, something that helps the cause, okay? Uh, that's about all the announcements I have. Calls to action are specifically whatever you're watching me on or hearing me on, hit the like button, the share button, the forward button, the subscribe button, uh, whatever it is. It really helps me out and uh, keeps things rolling. The new podcast interview I posted is with Tina Raymond, a wonderful uh, drummer in Los Angeles who's also a teacher coming from a straight ahead jazz direction and tearing things up out there. Very interesting interview. I was I was delighted to interview her. Um, coming up, I have uh, Danny Serafin. How's that? Danny Serafin coming up soon and a whole bunch of others I've already done. Uh, if you're in the Atlanta area, I do some gigs as a leader. This is a coffee shop a friend of mine owns and I've got a few coming up. Not till next month. Stop by if you can. Okay? Um, be great to see. If you're a drummer, maybe you want to sit in and play. Guitar, trumpet, bass, drums, quartet. All right, I like to keep these shorter than their band, and this is right around where I wanted to hit. So, um, again, connecting with the why. Watch Drummer Nation, and maybe it'll help you find your why. Maybe you already know, and it can help refine it. But there's an awful lot of information and great advice and great perspective coming from world-class drummers that you can see here all the time. So, please support me, and I'll continue to do that. Okay? And we'll all have fun and and work this thing together as drummers. All right, here's some of my sponsors on the way out. See you next week. Thanks. Bye.